Hey, New Life Church, Harry Bates here. My wife, Cheryl, and I, we have the honor of being the campus pastors at the newest New Life Church campus. That's our West Little Rock campus. And I'm so thankful for Pastor Rick and Michelle that they made a decision to plant the West Little Rock campus and all 18 campuses of New Life Church. You know, I can't wait to be back doing setup and tear down of the Pinnacle View Middle School in West Little Rock. That's going to be a great day when we're going to get back together there. You know, we know this Easter, uh, most of you ladies would typically, you would be out shopping for your Easter dresses or for your Easter outfits for your kids. But not this year. You're going to be shopping for Easter pajamas <laughs> because we're going to be watching service online again this Sunday. Pastor Rick bringing the word this Sunday morning. It's going to be good. You don't want to miss it. I'm so thankful we're able to do things online for technology. We're able to have virtual life group meetings. I hope you're joining in on those. Obviously, you're checking out the daily devotionals each day. Hopefully, you're engaged in the reading each and every day. Today, the reading is found in Matthew chapter 27. This is when Jesus was on trial for his sixth and final time. You see, he had been on trial three different times by the Jewish leaders, Jewish religious leaders. They found him guilty all three times. But all three times he stood uh, trial in front of the Roman government, he actually was found innocent all three times. This is the second time he's in front of Pontius Pilate. You can read the story. You probably already have. Well, Pontius Pilate says, I can find no charge against this man. His wife even said, he is innocent. Pilate, he's innocent. He should have listened to his wife. So many times, I know I should have listened to my wife and all the ladies are out there, mm-hmm, you should listen to your wife. But here's what we know. He didn't, and he handed Jesus over to the Jews, even though he had found him innocent. And we know that they took him and they crucified him. You know, there's nothing worse than when somebody is innocent and they're found guilty. I know that many times Cheryl and I will, will sit down and watch a... Um, a murder mystery of some kind. She loves watching these Dateline murder mysteries. And, you know, occasionally from time to time, somebody that did not commit the crime that was innocent, they are found guilty. I know this. If you or a loved one, somebody important to you, if they were found guilty of a crime they didn't commit, you would spend every waking hour, you would spend every dollar you have trying to prove their innocence. But you know what? Jesus knew he was innocent. And he didn't try to prove his innocence. Because really, I think the way he looked at it is, he looked at it that he was not actually on trial. You see, he was actually on trial for you and for me. Because he knew everything about the trial was wrong. You see, you weren't even supposed to be able to have trials during the Holy Week. You weren't supposed to be able to have trials at night. Uh, you're supposed to have legal representation. Uh, the voting... Uh, by the Jews was all mishandled. It was, it was handled wrong. He knew all of this, but here's what he knew. He was there to be found guilty so that you and I would be found innocent before the Father one day. He was to, bef to be found wrong so that you and I would be found right. I am so thankful that he knew, you know, that God demonstrated his great love for us and that he died for us while we were yet sinners. That's Romans chapter 8, verse 5. It's one of my favorite scriptures. So thankful that he died 2,000 years ago knowing that I was going to sin, that I was going to fall short, that you would do the same, but yet he would pay the sentence. He would pay the price for you and for me. And I'm just going to pray this Easter that we would realize that now more than ever before, that he stood trial for you and me. He was found guilty so that we would be found innocent. And I want to pray uh, for each and every one of you before we go here today. God, I thank you right now that you sent your son Jesus. Jesus, we thank you that you came that you became a man, that you walked on this earth, and that everything that we have been presented with in life, the pressures, uh, the stresses of life, that you, you've you experienced all of them, God. And yet you did it sinless. And yet you went on trial, and you were innocent, and you were allowed to be found guilty and go to the cross so that we would be found innocent, sinless in front of the righteous judge one day. We thank you that you did that for us. We thank you that you went to the cross, that you died, that you rose again, and that we can be saved for all of eternity because of what you did. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks so much for listening in again. We hope you enjoy the rest of these devos the rest of this week. See you on Easter morning.